Hey guys, it's Erica. And Jess. Welcome back to Twin or Knits. We're here today to discuss new projects and old projects and what we're wearing and the weekly update. The weekly update. Dun, 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 dun. Um, <laughs> So before we start with our projects, do you want to talk about what we're wearing? Sure. Um, I am wearing my Saldana, my second Saldana that I knitted because I needed to, I wanted to re-knit this to redeem myself because I knit one beforehand before I knew anything about anything. I think we mentioned that before. Mm -hmm. um, and I just love it. It's in Cake Wool Co. Um, I believe all of the yarns are in my Ravelry. And my favorite part about this knit itself is that I took the this part of the chart and flipped it for the bottom hem, which is super cute. I love it. I think I think it's super cute. I would re-knit this again for sure. Really? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I know. I when I first made the other one, I loved it. I have to knit mine. Actually, I was considering making a long sleeve one. No, I mean yes, <laughs> but also, um ripping back the my first one and re-knitting it um, knowing what you know now knowing what i know now even if it ends up being like super cropped because i don't have any more yarn mm -hmm. that's the same yeah. color or even add a fourth color in there yeah i don't know i don't know but this year is filled with possibilities. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am wearing the cute top by Lark Bagger in yarns. Um, they're just leftover yarns from my What the Fade and Find mm -hmm. Your Fades. I am obsessed with this book. I know. I have mine too in, the, in my room. We've talked about it before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so obsessed with the book that I almost bought the pink and the black version, the Danish ones. Yes. Now, guys, I don't speak Danish. No. At all. But the... The covers. The covers and the completionist in me is like, but like, you love it so much. I want the pink cover. Yeah. Like, I know it's a coffee table book. I know it's in Danish. But like, people decorate with books all of the time. So why would I go to the thrift store to buy a random book just to have it when I'm never going to read it? I could have beautiful books that I enjoy in a different language. I could always use Google Translate. Um, I also read an interview that this week that the book two mm -hmm. of this, of, of, of Clark Bagger's second book is actually coming out in English. They said soon. Yeah, but so how soon is soon? How soon is soon? I don't know. Do we think we're getting the black cover? I don't know. I don't know. Part of me wants it to, to match this. Yes. But on the other side. So then when oh. you can hold them, so when you put them together. On the coffee table. On the coffee table, it's like a full person. I actually like that idea so much. Um, do I think we're going to get that? No. Probably not. It's probably going to be this exact thing. I know. With close knit too. Yeah. Um, but if we get it that way, I'm probably going to buy the pink and the black one because I love yeah. the covers that much. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Also, this is also part of the bingo card, which is doing a pattern. Oh, yes. Doing a from, pattern from a book. From a book. <laughs> so um, we're kind of. I'm coming to you like a little sadder brained, like always. It's okay. Nothing new. Um, I'm talking to you about a new project. So I. I think I want to make one too. I am obsessed, and have been obsessed. Let me find it. Oh, this is the No Limit sweater. So this is the No Limit sweater. Uh, I'm obsessed with the bad idea technique, the bad mm -hmm. idea dress technique, which is what I did for this top. But mm -hmm. this time, I think I'm going to do the all over technique. So it's going to look more like this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm going to do the fold over collar or not. I haven't decided that. But so working for the bingo card, working from scraps of my stash. Mm -hmm. So what I did... Um, while watching, I think it was Suits or something. I don't remember what we were watching, actually. It doesn't matter. Um, I made little, I started to oh, make yeah. these little, like, cake. I made these little cakes. So she has them in little butterfly, mm -hmm. little butterfly 
bundles. Yeah. And I just thought that was too many bundles to have yeah. that I was just going to make um, cake it. And that way, if I needed to pull from the inside and out, I can. I made three, three different ones. So I picked randomly from my scrap yarn mm -hmm. to start off with and wound them up and made essentially magic cake balls. Mm -hmm. um, I used fingering double. This is gonna be the like all over color bit. And I'm going to use Ritual Dyes. Mm -hmm. I think the color was Gemini cause it was like a yellow color. I mean, it is yeah. a yellow color. Um, with these, which yeah. I think would be so Super fun cute. for the sweater. It'd be so cute. I know. I haven't just I haven't started started yet. Yeah. Because I haven't weighed anything yet. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how many grams are actually going out of my stash yet. Yeah. Um I don't know, man. I am real excited about I it. I know. I don't know. Every time we come together, this is what our second week, and I get so excited to do all of the things and mm -hmm. then uh during the week you're like Meh. yeah because I still have I'm okay I need to not be this person and if I want to cast on a million things then I should just cast on a million things I agree however when you cast on a million things you don't see progress progress or like things that are finished so I don't want to start something new until we finish until I finish my my first project. I mean, I get it, but the psychology for me is that yeah. I struggle to get the start of the things first. Mm -hmm, Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So if I have two or three things that have a quarter of an inch of ribbing or whatever, when I finish with my project, then I can just pick it up and go. Yeah, no, I've done that too, but. I know. <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh, no. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, yeah, talk about the project that I'm working on, which is still, it not still, so good. not still, but, um, my color play pullover. I have a sleeve. I've started on my sleeve. Yes. Um, sorry. I realized that I, while I was going, I was looking for one more mini skein to mm -hmm. finish what the part that I was working on that you picked the brighter colors of the palette and that's oh. why yours looks different because I still have those. Yeah. I didn't want the um, mohair to change that color that much. So that's why mm. mine looks different. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so I did finish the body and I yeah, really, I really enjoy like the fun little detail on the bottom of like the, the other color the other little color because i didn't that's really cute i'm like i didn't have enough to finish the body in the stripe that i was working on but then i was like you know what just we decided that we weren't going to stress out about this project mm -hmm. we're just gonna let it live and do what it wants to do so that's what i decided to do and then i could have started this in the sleeve but i think i might use this as the cuffs for both. the blue yes the blue oh as the cuff for both for both of both, them that's That'll be nice. Um, and I still have some pink left, so I might do like a little bit of a longer ribbing. That's what I did. And do oh, um, and then do like a little rim. And do like I a little rim that. of pink. That's cute. I didn't just do that. because. <laughs> just because. Just because. Just because. Just because you can. Cause, cause, yeah, because I can do what I want. Um, but I'm really excited. I didn't knit as much on it as I thought I would this week because. I hurt my wrist. I know. Um, it's not dang well, it's, pole. It's more of the forearm, but um, my chiropractor told me to ice. ice and take some time off and let pain be my guide. So I'm just resting it because he said if I don't rest it, it could become more of a sprain and then it'll take longer to heal. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have done that yesterday. <laughs> so I only got to this part or else I would have been done with this sleeve but I don't know I feel okay today so I might try to knit some later on today mm -hmm. um because at this point I can see the finish line I know because sleeves I'm also decided 
that we're gonna change the way we think about Sleeve Island. Oh my God, me too. I did that in my stories. I love Sleeve Island. It's Sleeve fun. Island is, for me, Sleeve Island is like the cruise that you go in the Caribbean, okay? Yes. <laughs> I've decided that that's what Sleeve Island is. Agreed, so, agreed. It's wow. gonna be a fun little vacation. I love Sleeve Island. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> um, I didn't think I used to like it, yeah. but now I really enjoy it. I think because everybody's so negative about it. Maybe. I don't know. I really, I love it. So I'm going to show you my progress. Yes. Eric actually finished a sleeve. I finished, yes. I finished a sleeve. This and is, her body. And the body. I don't remember where I was last time, but I finished, sorry, I don't know which side is which. It's it doesn't okay. matter. I think that's the front. No, this is the back. Okay. Um. Ta-da! It's so nice. I'm kind of obsessed. So I kind of can't wait to finish mine now. So I, kind I see of, a full sleeve. I know. I kind of joked on Instagram um, that I was on a an all expenses paid trip to my favorite island, Sleeve Island, um, <laughs> and I used a picture that I took when I was in Vegas at the pool. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look in the back of the picture, it says Treasure Island on the back. Um, but I thought it was funny because I thought it was, yeah. well, first off, we're having 80 mile an hour winds and it's yeah. below freezing with ice. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to pretend I'm in a tropical vacation mm -hmm. and we are on the boat in Miami. We're getting onto the cruise ship and we're sailing to Sleeve Island. Heck yeah. We're docking in the first port. <laughs> this is the first port. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a cruise ship. Yep. It's fun. <laughs> So I finished my body and I'm using different colors on my sleeves than I did on my body. However, my sleeves will match. Mm. My sleeves will match each other. Now you don't have to do that. I know. Um, I know I didn't, I'm not doing that. No, I know Mighty Lisa didn't do that on her original color play pullover when she used her advent minis, but I am OCD and I need structure. Um, so, I had enough of this white to finish and I had enough of this pink to finish because I wanted at least those stripes to kind of match. Mm -hmm. um, when I go to do this side, I have enough of the white. I have to use a different pink mm -hmm. and then I can continue on with, with those. the pattern down here. Nice. I did decide to do the ribbing because mm -hmm. I like a ribbing I on the too. bracelet length. It's not even bracelet length. It's like a three-quarter length sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, I just like that. She does have Beth McDonald Stone, who is the writer of this pattern. She does have like a like a cinched and a fold over rolled collar. So you like yeah. So you like decrease and then you knit and then you just bind off and it kind of rolls in, which I think would be super cute too. Mm -hmm. And it would look more like that. Yeah which I kind of like that too. I might do that version for the solid color. Yeah. Um, but we will see because I can change my mind at any time. <laughs> so I'm also, oops, I'm also dealing with, I've lost my stitch marker. I'm also dealing with, you know, that wrist problem. Um, it was getting better, so I thought I would knit more. And now that I've knit more, it hurts. It hurts again. So I'm going to be icing it, taking it a little easy today, but how can I take it easy when this looks so good? I, I am know. so close. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. Also, I have to say that I have been weaving in my ends mm. as I go. Me too. So I have been doing like the weave in Steven method for yeah. all of these stripes. So when I'm done, all I have to do is weave in this part, uh, the underarm circle, the underarm mm -hmm. join, and then this. And that's like what I have been, that's what I've been doing with most of my other patterns mm -hmm. or my other projects when I do, I've started to do that. And it has made like finishing significantly so more fun. enjoyable, especially yeah. with, um, especially with, you know, stripes. Cause if you just join them and then keep going, then you have to go back and weave in all those ends. And I know that I will not do that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I've been weaving as I go. Yeah. So like when I finish the collar, I wove in those ends. When mm -hmm. as where as I'm knitting, I'm weaving, steaving. I started my sleeve. <clears throat> I took 
I took a moment and I will wove in the underarm already. Mm -hmm. I'm like so excited because this looks so good. It like does. I knew it would look good, but also like sometimes I'm surprised at how good it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I made this. I already have an idea for how I'm going to photograph it. We've discussed it. Mm -hmm. I hope, I hope those pants still fit. Yeah. Let's hope the weather gets better. It's not. Just a little bit. We just need it to melt. Mm. We just need it to melt to go to the place where I think would be funny to take it. See, like this whole year, and I think Jessica agrees with me, is going to be full of creativity and we're not going to let weather or whatever yeah. dictate what we can and cannot do because you can't tell you're cold in a photo you can't tell you're cold in a photo um but i'm really excited so like i have this whole concept this whole theme of how i want to photograph it and this is like i think this is like you know when you're in art school and you're like oh you have to photograph it for the gallery mm -hmm. like and then the gallery image is like the image that you send to the galleries I think and then it's like fun again like I'm finding the fun again in mm -hmm. all of this do you agree not yet not yet okay you'll get there um just because I'm still like you're still finding your feet yeah with your projects yeah because I mean like in our group in our group everyone's already like picking up different projects and blah, blah, blah. And I really just want to, I feel, okay, I'll be real honest. I feel like I can't work and figure out what I want to do until I re-go through my stash mm -hmm. and figure out exactly, exactly what I have. Um, That's fair. Because there have been, there have been some additions mm -hmm. from when I left off yeah. that I have not put in. So I'm just going to redo the whole entire thing. Um, that's going to be a lot of work, but it's fine. It's so, it's going to be worth it. I'm like, cause mo the bulk of it is pretty much done already. Yeah. It's just like the few things that I don't, I haven't added yet. Yeah. But I'm going to go through the whole thing. So I'm just going to like, be like, okay, this is here, this is here, this is here. Cause I have also used some stuff from the stash already. Mm -hmm. So that way I can get rid of those. Oh yeah. Like refresh. Like yeah. Start from scratch like this is exactly what I have <clears throat> I am pulling this from inventory correct this is what I actually use in the project yes this is how much is a leftover as scrap I think I'm gonna start a whole new spreadsheet I think that's a good idea um I think I might have to too now that I'm thinking about it we could also do a video on how to set up your spreadsheets if if that's something for you I mean, we'll, I'll probably still uh, do it anyway <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to be doing a whole new spreadsheet. Yeah. Um, but just to see if you want to, if you guys want to follow along with us and do it too, mm -hmm. um, you'll know how we're setting up our spreadsheets. I know that Shemeke, I will be copying Jessica's well, spreadsheet. You know, Shamika has her own way of setting up her spreadsheet um, because we're nerds and we really want to see the numbers in and out throughout mm -hmm. the whole entire year yeah so there's that yeah I also just wanted to say I have not forgotten about my poetry pullover I have um, to finish I said this before but I have to finish this project the color play pullover because that's the same needle that's oh, yeah. used on that the lark bagger sweater the it's no limits needle. is a totally ne different needle size well, uh, I can work on two projects at once I'm yeah. so excited yeah um, I think we've heard you guys, we've heard you guys yes. wanting to see our stash and, um, that might be, we'll be working on it. Yes. We'll be working we on it. We heard you. We are working on it. Um, we have ideas mm -hmm. of how to film it. Yeah. So. It might be in like three parts. I think, yeah, it's going to be in three parts, but I think it should be like, Yo, welcome to MTV Cribs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> because you know, we're trying to we're trying to make this fun for everybody and and including us. <laughs> including us. So, um to do it that way, it would be funny yes. for us. It would just be fun. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um 
And with that, we are off. And we will see you on the next one. Same nitty time. Same nitty channel. Bye, Bye guys. guys.